is, as you know, Halloween is upon us, and I just love Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm super excited because we got new Nightmare Before Christmas toys, which includes, oh, the brand new Series 10 toys by Diamond Select. Oh, check it out. We get some of the last figures in this lineup. And not only do we get Series 10, but we get, ooh, a bonus exclusive pack from PX which contains two other figures that we haven't even gotten yet. Nice, giving us four packages in all to make up series 10. And I'm super excited to bust into this exclusive pack right here featuring the creature under the stairs, which is this guy and Cyclops. Oh, so let's open this up. And the first guy we'll look at is, ooh, this one right here, the creature under the stairs. And boy, does he look great. Ah, oh, just love that face. It looks totally Burton-esque. Ah, oh, just love it. It's got the coilies down his neck there, and his torso looks great with the, ooh, all the snake spiders <laughs> for fingers. Wow, that detail's amazing on this. And that all goes down right here with this little platform with roller skates on it, which he uh, rolls around on. So there's the creature under the stairs. Oh, <laughs> he's looking so cool. Ah, oh, so that's the first exclusive. And then the second exclusive we get is the figure of Cyclops. Oh, neat. Now, he's a pretty popular character, so I'm surprised they saved him for Series 10 and an exclusive, no less. But, uh, yeah, he's a Cyclops because he's got that one eye in the middle of his head. He's got those big old ears. Yeah, the sculpt is pretty darn amazing on this guy, so he looks great. And there's the two-pack from this awesome exclusive. Now, the cool thing about Cyclops here is when NECA had the license to make these figures, well, they ended up making them right here and he looks a lot different from the one that we got from diamond select in fact i think there's a lot more details on this thing than diamond cool yeah i think i like this one a lot better the sculpt at least but uh they both have pluses and minuses i like the color of the eyeball on this one better too so yeah there they are side by side looking so cool oh i just love it all right, so here's another two-pack of figures I was highly anticipating. We've got Mr. Hyde and then the Corpse Dad, which we've never seen in plastic form, so this is awesome. Ugh, this is super exciting because uh, for the first time, we get them in action figure form. Wow, that is a cool figure. So he looks great. I love that sculpt with the hair on back and the big bulbous nose up front. <laughs> and he's in the, this cool tuxedo-y like outfit it's pretty cool it's really baggy on the bottom so there is the corpse dad which looks great especially when you put him next to the corpse boy which we've gotten in an earlier wave so uh the family's almost complete so cool i gotta say one of the things that's kind of frustrating about this set is the aspect ratio is all over the place i'm gonna have to go back and watch the movie again but i thought corpse dad was a lot taller than cyclops here so I'm not sure why they made Cyclops so big. In fact, I'm thinking the one made by NECA might be more in scale to these guys. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to rewatch that movie. But as for the other figure in this two-pack, uh, now we get Mr. Hyde. Oh, I just love this character because he's awesome in the movie. And yeah, he looks great too. Oh, I love that sculpt that, that blank steer he has on his head. <laughs> that's cool, little hairs popping out. Oh, that's so neat. He's got that top hat. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. I mean, his outfit's pretty plain, but they seem to nail it just right. Now, the one downside, though, is when I saw him at Toy Fair a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure he came out with the little guys that come out of his top hat with the uh, little Mr. Hyde's. Final version didn't come with it. Ah, oh, where are those little guys at? Crying out loud, looks like they decided to uh, not make those, which is kind of disappointing, but eh, well, at least we have Mr. Hyde. This, of course, is another figure that NECA ended up making as well back in the day, and he's a little bit shorter. And I gotta say, you know what? I think I like the new one better than the old one. That face, yeah, it doesn't look like they captured the likeness like this one does. I mean, this looks really like the one from the movie. So yeah, it looks like they got the Mr. Hyde just right, just like with the uh, corpse dad. Perfect. And again, I'm wondering if the aspect ratio is too big for this guy. Not sure, but uh, like I said, it's all over the place. And then, all right, here we go. Here's another figure right here if we want to complete our set of corpses. And this is the corpse mom with ooh, some really cool accessories. So let's open this package. And holy cow, she a heavy figure. Ugh. She's just this big, round, bulbous thing of plastic. And boy, they did a great job on the sculpt of this gal. 
Check it out. Oh, we get the glasses on her head there. We get the hair sticking straight up. <laughs> oh, that is a great sculpt. Oh, look at that. the beads around her outfit there, which is all nasty and torn like a zombie outfit. Ugh, so cool then. She stands pretty well, I gotta say, for being so heavy and bulbous. Then, of course, once we put her next to her husband and her little boy, Oh, it's so cool, we finally got the corpse family complete. And this is something I just love because when it came to NECA, well, they ended up making their own corpse mom, which, uh, boy, that looks a lot different from the one we got from Diamond Select Toys. So let's move Dad out of there and check these side by side. These are way different from each other. Holy cow, this one's got glasses on her nose there, and huh, I'm gonna have to go back to the movie and see which sculpt is closer, but, uh, yeah, boy, they both look great. Holy cow. So there they are with their extended family. <laughs> so two moms and the whole family. Ah, oh, so cool. All right, so if we go to the back to the accessories here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, we get a present in the shape of uh, a coffin or something. <laughs> that looks great. And then uh, one of those toys. Ooh, the ducky on that uh, coffin lid. Oh, that's so great. And the nice thing about these items is that a couple waves ago, well, we got that table where they were making all those Christmas toys on. And it looks like we can put these accessories right there and just add to the decor. Oh, oh, oh so cool. So yeah, our little thing's coming together. All right, let's make some toys. <laughs> oh, how delightful. The kids will be happy. All right, so the last figure in this lineup is, ooh, a figure of Mrs. Claus. And this is a figure that we haven't gotten by NECA either, so this is kind of cool as well, because we've gotten Santa Claus in a previous set. And yeah, I didn't really want to miss Claus, but uh, <laughs> there she is. She's super huge, and she comes with ooh, another one of those singing elves. So yeah, if you like collecting those elves, we have gotten a couple of these guys in the past, but I'm not really partial to all the uh, Christmas Town figures. So, so yeah, she's not really on my favorite list. So we'll just forego opening her. Because I'm more excited about the Halloween figures making up, ooh, a Series 10. Oh, what a beautiful lineup this is. Now, if you thought Diamond Select Toys has covered every single character from this movie, well, you'd be wrong because there's probably enough characters to make up one more series, and I so hope that they end up making a Series 11 because we still need, well, all the little Mr. Hyde characters. And we need other characters like the Grim Reaper, the Snow White Witch, and that Gatekeeper guy. Oh, I can't forget those. And you could probably fit the uh, Frankenstein monster too, which uh, was actually only seen in one little shot that was shown from far away and you can't really see his face. So all right guys, there they are, the brand new lineup of Nightmare Before Christmas figures, Series 10, Puppetastic.